So what I'm going to do now is show you a really simple thing to do, and this is what I normally do when I set up my Linux systems, and that is, if I open up my terminal window, if I were to run a command, so for example if I run sudo apt update, and then press enter, then it asks for a password, and regardless of what I type into my password field, I don't actually see any feedback to let me know that I've entered my password. So I'm going to do a really simple thing that will actually get the terminal to display the password that you're entering. Now don't worry, it's not going to actually show your password. What it'll do is the standard thing where it'll replace the characters that you're entering with an asterisk. So what I'll do is I'll close out of terminal and reopen it. And so what I want to do is type in sudo visudo and then press enter, enter your password, and then using the arrow key I'll just make my way down to this defaults section here, and then I'll go to the second line, and then using my left arrow key go to the previous line, and then press enter to create a new line, type in defaults, help if I spelled it right, and then press tab to get to the next section, and then type in PW feedback or password feedback. Cool, so now I'll press Control O to set up the right, and then press Enter to apply the right, and so that's now rewritten this etsy sudoos.tmp file to include password feedback. So now if I Control X to exit, and what I'll do is I'll actually do a quick reboot to show you the changes. Cool, so I've now rebooted the computer, and now if I open up my terminal window and type in a command, so for example, sudo apt update, and then I'll type in hyphen y to automatically skip the yes no confirmation, and then press enter. When I type in my password now, as you can see, it's now showing feedback to show that I'm actually typing in my password. So this is really, really helpful if you have a very long password or you've made a mistake and you want to quickly delete the first or the last letter or anything like that. So now I have password feedback in my terminal window.